New from overnight, Dayton police have nabbed several suspects following a series of business break-ins overnight. And 2 News had a camera at the scene when officers located the getaway car packed with stolen goods. Jordan Burgess out live with this morning's top story. Jordan. Right now, police are still at the scene of one of these string of break-ins. Take a look. This is East Side Wireless here, and you can see that door with the shattered glass and that hole in the bottom where those suspects tried to reach in to grab some stuff. Right now, police tell us they have two of those suspects in custody. They're still looking for a third but they hope that those two will help lead them to that third person. And police are pretty happy this morning to have brought these guys run to an end. And take a look at this video of those two suspects in custody. Two News was first on the scene moments after police caught them here off Delaware near Grafton. A third person was able to get away after bailing from the car. Inside that car, police made quite a discovery. A flat screen TV, hundreds of phones, and a stock of computer equipment. Officers say that stuff was taken from Eastside Wireless here, T-Mobile, a private residence, and possibly the University of Phoenix. They also tell us they've been after these guys for months for other break-ins. This time, an officer heard an alarm from one business while at the scene of one of the earlier break-ins. Police followed those guys without sirens through back alleys before finally cornering them. Very bad guys. Uh, they hit anything they can, uh, robberies, uh, grand theft autos, smash and grabs. So tonight, this is a big, a big haul they had. Right now, police tell us they're not sure what those guys were doing with that big haul, but they say they plan to find out. But at least it seems these guys' days of break-ins are numbered. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.